Oh my dear, Arizona Diamondbacks, where did you go wrong? The surprise team of the season through the first half of 2023, the Diamondbacks were at many points 16 games over 500 and lead the National League West, a division which was supposed to be dominated by the Los Angeles Dodgers and San Diego Padres. On July 1st, they were 50-34 and, and on pace for the best record they've had in years. But then, July happened, and everything went downhill. In July and August, the Diamondbacks' record has been a miserable 11-26, largely in part by a streak of 20 games post-All-Star break in which they lost 17-20 of 20 matchups and were back under 500, throwing their fantastic start to the season straight into the Astros' trash cans. Despite all of this, they're still in range of the wild card, sitting just a game and a half back as of this recording, but still needing to overtake three different teams, likely the Giants, Cubs, Marlins, or Reds. Now, I've been very big on Corbin Carroll this season, as the soon-to-be Rookie of the Year was the centerpiece of this franchise's revival in the first half of the season, but if they manage to make the playoffs, they're going to have Christian Walker to thank. Arizona has finally had some success over the last week, winning four of their last five games and winning back-to-back -back series for the first time since mid-June, and no one has been a bigger contributor than Christian Walker. During this five-game stretch, Walker has gotten 10 hits in his 19 at-bats, five of which have been home runs leading to 11 RBIs and seven runs scored. That's a batting average over 500 and an OPS around 1,800, by far the best stat line of anyone in baseball over the last week. Arizona's next series is against a San Diego Padres team desperately trying to hold on to the wildcard race, and Christian Walker can lead the way to a series win, inching the Diamondbacks closer to the playoffs, and knocking out the Padres at the same time. The more important series is next weekend though, a four-game series against the Reds, a team they'll almost certainly have to pass up to make the playoffs. Long run, Doyle turns, looks, and that is a bank shot into the bullpen for the Diamondbacks. Two-run home run for Walker is 26, and it's a 2-0 lead for the Snakes. Boy, that's really nice. Christian Walker just carrying on from yesterday. Off the bat, every single person in this stadium knew that that hey, ball happened. Well, here comes Christian Walker, who has had a tremendous series now with 26 home runs on the year. It's always been a goal of Walker's, he said, to try and get to that 100 RBI threshold. Walker might have got under this one. Will it carry out of here? Profar looking up, and he's done it again. Christian Walker's third consecutive game with a home run in Colorado, and it's 2-0 Diamondbacks. And Walker just jumped all over that one. He has homered in four of his last five games. Christian Walker at the play. Christian Walker can do no wrong when he comes to Coors Field. They can't get him out. Christian hits it up in the air. It's carrying to center. Doyle backing up to the track, to the wall, and that one's in the bullpen. Christian Walker has done it again in Colorado. His fourth home run in this series, and it's eight to seven Diamondbacks. Oh, my goodness, is he hot. I mean, one pitch, and it was gone. And again, wow. he hits this ball to right of center.